Hi guys, Toy Time Official here, and today we are looking at the Lego Jurassic World Triceratops Rampage. This is set number 75937. It has 447 pieces and retails for $60. Now let's get into the review. First we have the Triceratops. The Triceratops, we haven't got one a long time. What makes the Triceratops rotate its head so much, this gets in the way a little bit, but of course if you didn't have this on, it wouldn't be a Triceratops. It wouldn't be any dinosaur, so they had to do that. Now right here is a Technic pin. It's a built-in Technic pin. It's a little different because it has these side things, but it really isn't that much different. Um, yeah. Right here is one of the legs. Again, all of them are almost the same. The back ones are a bit bulkier. But again, they are all attached to a Technic pin. Now let's get to the minifigures. We have Owen. Of course, Owen. Unless this one finally has, I believe, a new torso print. I might be wrong, but I don't know. I could be wrong, though. But um, I'm happy we don't get this on a whole lot. And, well, it might be exclusive when it was released in 2019. I have no idea. Now we have um, the Taurus. The tourist, oh wait, I forgot to show Owen's alternate facial expression. He just looks pretty normal. Okay, now to the tourist. The tourist is just holding an ice cream. Okay, pretty standard. But, um, yeah. And the phrase print looked very happy. And now right here on the back, it looks worried. Okay, now to Simon, um, what's his name, Simon, well, I can't pronounce his last name, just Simon. Simon, um, when I was missing a lot of pieces, they literally were just like, let's just give him all these pieces so that he doesn't have to keep asking for more. <laughs> they gave me an extra Simon. An extra minifig. Okay, that that's crazy. Oh. But Simon, um, his hair feels very rough, and he's pretty accurate to it. His torso print is pretty nice, but uh, nothing too special. But on the back, he I believe this is the same one that they used here, Doctor Wu. So yeah, okay, but. Now we have the final minifigure. I need to grab it with my feet. <laughs> um, Allison. Allison is very nice to get. I believe she is. I don't know what other set she's in, but um, Allison is a very nice minifig to get. I think that she. Um, we finally have some useful um, stuff to use with the other skin color. And right here she looks worried. So that's very useful and I'm happy they included it. Now we are moving on to the first build. This is the, well, the closest build to me. This is the gate of Jurassic World. I think they do it pretty well. Except I'm kind of confused why this, well, this one is this way. Well, it's different because my screen is on a mirror. And, yeah, it's kind of weird, but maybe it's supposed to be accurate. I have no idea. Okay, now, um... Let's take a look at the quad now. The quad is very standard. I'm happy that um, 
I'm very happy that they didn't make um, this one of those oversized huge vehicles that make the sets expensive. I'm happy it's just a small one. Thank God. I'm really happy it's just a small one. And on the back it can hold, it's supposed to hold a wrench and a walkie talkie. And what is this ball joint um, um, attacher here? Hmm. That's weird. And how Owen sits, he just, um, well, he just sits like that, but, um, but I wish it was holding together. I mean, it's good, it's okay if you have, like, some sides, but there's no sides for the quad, um, previews, um, what do you call them, the separators, but it's not that big of a deal, though. And the idea is Owen holds this carrot thing and then it like tricks the dinosaur or something like that. I don't know. But I'm happy that they included it. Well, I'm happy that they, um, yeah. Um, this build, uh, it just went off. Um, this build, let's look at this build there. Two separate builds. Um, so this one is the intro build. I know we got a gift shop in another in a twenty dollar Jurassic World set. We got a few gyro spheres, but the newest gyro sphere one was in that a hundred dollar awesome Indominus ankle, awesome but overpriced Indominus ankylosaurus um, one in museum. I believe we've never gotten a museum. Are we gonna get a museum soon? Ooh, that would be nice. But uh, looking at the rest of the build, um, nothing too special, but they do these stairs pretty well. And um, a little garbage can. And also I like that it shows um, the waiting in line area. Okay, now let's get to um, the electric fence build. I need to get this off of this build. This electric fence build is pretty cool. Um, right here, it has this, and then if the fence goes down, it goes like that. But I think... Um, it's pretty cool, and it is a pretty necessary play feature, if you ask me. And I need to put this in its regular position. And then this can be attached from each other because they're on a, I believe, a clip, and you can attach this. Just as a trash here, top's nothing too special, and also there is a clip attacher, and here is another one, the other side of the clip attacher. So, yeah, that's it for the electric fence. Now, let's get to the coolest part of this whole set. Definitely the coolest part. Look at this thing, the roller coaster. Why would this thing not be cool? So up here, it just says some baby eggs, nothing to do with that. No, not too much other than looks. And if you put three mini, well you can spin them around anyway, but like, it looks better if you put mini figs in there. I mean, of course. <laughs> ah, need to get every one. Ah. We'll get the tourist. We put them in there. Okay, we got. Ugh. This one always pops out for some reason. Maybe I built it wrong, I don't know. Ah, I'm gonna try to put it in there very tight. Spin this around. Simon goes in here. Where is Simon? Um, there is Simon. 
diamonds will go in there too. And then, um, where is Allison? And then Allison can go in there. I'll put Allison in there. Just a moment. There we go. And look at this. It spins around. Isn't that so cool? I love that. But, okay. I'm not talking about that. There's not much other to this build. But what I hate is there are so many stickers in this set. I counted all the stickers. There's 28 stickers. That is ridiculous. I was tired of putting... All these stickers on. I was about to quit putting these annoying stickers on. But at the end of the day, it was worth it. So I would never quit putting that on. Yeah. Okay. I believe I covered all the stuff. All the builds of the set. And now let's take a look at the packaging and then the final verdict. First, let's take a look at the instructions. Moving this out of the way. The instructions are very thick. There are a few ads for the other sets in this way. We have the Dino Mech Battle. We have, again, the Gift Shop one. The, to be exact, if the source on the loose. Baronox Face Off, which is the other $60 set. And, of course, this set. Now let's look at the packaging. The packaging is pretty huge. Look at this thing. Well, it's not big enough for a $60 box, although look at how thick this thing is. It's very thick. Very thick. And yeah. So overall, I'm pretty satisfied with the set. Although the price is um, $60, I don't know about $60, maybe $50. $50 is an appropriate price. I feel like um, what I like the best out of this is, that, well, of course that, but like, I like how it's so modular other than the other one, other sets in the wave. It's, it's very modular, almost like, as modular as Harry Potter and in Minecraft. It's very good. I feel like with modding, modding around, switching up places, I like that if you put it in one place, it's not going to stay there forever. You can always move it and make fresh new places. That's what I love about this set. And, um... Yeah, I believe that is the end of this video. And if you have this set or you're missing instructions, just scan this code right here so that you can get the instructions. Well, that's the end of this video. I hope you watch more LEGO videos and subscribe. And turn the bell on for notifications and goodbye.